Conclusion Finally, dear listener, we now have a few simple questions to ask you. Did you ever wonder, why is a Jew practicing his religion called orthodox? A Christian practicing his called devout, but when a Muslim practices his religion, he is labeled a fundamentalist. Why, when a non-Muslim steals, rapes, or murders, his religion is irrelevant, but when a Muslim is charged with a crime, it is Islam that goes on trial? Why is it that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been singled out in Western media for abuse and criticism? Why can a nun be covered from head to toe and be respected for devoting herself to God, but when a Muslim woman does that, she's considered fanatic or oppressed? But then again, why, in spite of so many negative portrayals, is Islam the fastest growing religion in the world? We would now like our listeners to ask themselves what they think are the reasons for all the propaganda and misinformation being spread around. If Islam was just another false religion that made no sense, would so many people need to invent so many falsehoods about it? Our answer is merely that the ultimate truth of Islam stands on unshakable ground and that its basic fundamental belief in one supreme God is above reproach. Hence, because no one can criticize its doctrines directly, opponents can only resort to spreading misinformation about Islam so that people will be deterred from interest in it and lose the desire to find out more. This religion comes from God and it is protected by Him. If any other religion had been exposed to the wars, conspiracies, and plots that Islam has been exposed to, it would have been dispensed with long ago or essentially altered as other religions have been. This faith, however, has remained unchanged for over 1400 years, while love of it constantly renews itself in the hearts of its followers and adherence to it increases with their increase in education and knowledge. Further evidence that it is truly God's religion. Islam provides mankind with a reason to live and with an ethical code by which to live. It outlines the dimensions of universal relationships with individuals, societies, and all of creation. It protects the institution of the family, upholds principles of justice, self-sufficiency, personal and collective responsibility, and freedom of thought. Islam provides the foundations for a stable society, progress, security, and world peace. If more Muslims were to present Islam correctly and clearly, it would surely make many people reconsider and reevaluate their own beliefs. It is quite likely that both scholars and lay people, upon finding a universal religion that teaches people to worship God and respect His prophets within a framework of pure monotheism, would at least feel the need to reassess the basis for their own beliefs and doctrines. And it is that to which all people are invited by the Qur'an. May God guide you to the truth. This is Wes Malik. We hope you have enjoyed this unabridged production of Clear Your Doubts About Islam, 50 Answers to Common Questions. Written by Um Muhammad, Mary M. Kennedy, and Amatullah J. Bantley. This audiobook was produced by Islamic Audiobooks Central. Text copyright 2008 by Abul Qasim Publishing House. Text copyright renewed 2018 by Um Muhammad. Audio production copyright 2021 by Islamic Audiobooks Central, all rights reserved. For more great audiobooks, be sure to visit our website, islamicaudiobookscentral.com. Thank you for listening.